Aloha my friends, Billy Wiggly here from Durango, Colorado and I just finished training 100 brand new Excel users. That's 100 more people that can say they got skills. Have you ever wanted to combine the contents of three separate cells into one? Specifically text, you have three cells. One says Smith, the other one says John, and the other one says Mr. You want to combine all three of those cells into one cell and you want this one cell to say Mr. John Smith. Well, it's easy. It's a simple text function called concatenate. Check it out. Taking a look at this worksheet, we notice that it has four columns. Last name, first name, title, and full name. What we're looking to achieve is combine the title, first name, and last name into the full name column. And we want to do this for every record in this data range. To achieve that, we will use a text function called concatenate. We start by placing our marquee in the cell where we want our concatenation to take place. In this case, it is cell D2. Now we begin to build our formula. We start out by typing equal and then the name of the function. As we type, Excel returns functions that match the letters that we are typing we see that it has highlighted the concatenate function and it has given us a brief definition letting us know that it joins several text strings into one text string. You can now double click on the function and Excel is ready to start accepting our arguments. Our arguments will be the text strings that we want to combine. So we can begin by selecting the first text string which is located in cell C2, Mr. So select that cell, type in a comma to move you to the next argument, which will be a space. So to put in a space in a formula, you simply type in a quote, space, quote, put in a comma to move us to our next argument, the text string located in cell B2, John, select it, type a comma to move you to the next argument, which will be a space. So we type quote, space, quote, comma to move us to our final argument, the text string in cell A2, Smith, select it, and now we can just press enter. And we see that we have concatenated several text strings into one and in the order that we wanted it, Mr. John Smith. But wait, we wanted to concatenate every single text string in this worksheet. So to do that, we're going to copy the formula on down to our last empty cell in this data range. To do this, we simply select the cell containing our concatenation. Now we double click on the autofill handle and Excel will copy the formula on down to the last empty cell in this range. And isn't that easy? There you have it, concatenate, a simple text function that you will find very useful. Remember. Don't get mad, get skills. Aloha.